Nice. Yeah, so now, that's my table. All right. I, there was a criticism that I faced on my channel recently, Dave. Oh, criticism. I yes. never get that on my channel. Well, I want to tell you about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, horrible. Don't shoot me from the back, because I think Don't my shoot you from the back? That's only, I wouldn't shoot you from the front, because you see me coming. And that would be... Too. I don't want to do that. Is my hair okay? I don't want you to do that. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha! Hi, it's on for the Morning Fans and Family. Um, well, if this is your first time on the channel, I just want to let you know that on this channel, we upload one beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece a week. And one that is uncut. Yes, and in this uncut video, I've been at the Reptile Show here in Tinley Park filming uh, Redline Report interviews all weekend at that booth, which is awesome because it's right at the check-in line and I get to like hang out with people while I do interviews. But the thing about doing interviews all week is that I am not, um, I've not been to the show. And fortunately for me, Dave has been to the show, right? right? Uh, I have been. Right? Hey guys, yeah. what's going on? Um, uh, yes, I have been at the show. As a matter of fact, this is day two of the show. Yesterday, I could not get from out from behind my table, so I hardly have my video shot. And I'm taking time away from shooting my video to help out my good buddy Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, I appreciate that. As much as I appreciate yeah. that, I was kind of hoping that you had been around the show so you could show me stuff. Like oh, this guy. Like Jeremy. Am I stuff? <laughs> why, why is Jer Jeremy's at all the shows? Jeremy's at all the shows. Speaking to, speak to my neck. To give us hope Hello. about USR. Speaking Hello. to my neck. Give you what? About USR? Just something. Tell us about something USR. about USR. USR That's why I wasn't like, if it was is the reason why you're able to keep animals. And therefore, so you have to support it. Nailed it. There you go. I agree. Okay. All right, well said, so, Jeremy. No, but listen, I was hoping that since I hadn't been able to walk around the show, I was hoping that you had been walking around the show. A little bit. And are now able to show us, like, the coolest thing at the show, and we can go find that. Is that well, I think that would be at my table. All right, let's go. But I'm a little biased. Oh, let that's us, true. Let us cut through ZoomEd, shall we? <laughs> What you, what, what? You were your shadows. You were my shadows? Yeah, we were shadows. Well, look at this. Listen, this look, is, look this at this is hair Chris. on this guy right here. <laughs> yeah. It's good. He has, yeah. like, much more better poofier hair than I do. We can work on it. Come uh, see my wife. She does all the shampoos for me. Does she really? Yeah. Does she do smoothing serums I, at all for your... It's, she just, it she look buys it. Because, no, look at this. It's a little my, dry right my now. My arm, I cannot pull my arm away oh. from the... <laughs> <laughs> There. It's, it's I want to tell you man. something. You have tentacles hey I'm going to take. I'm going to cut Dave's mic out while I talk about this. As you should. I was wearing your shirt um, the other week. Yeah. Like actually, like three days ago. And uh, as my spirit animal, I feel I need to be honest with you. And everybody that walked up to me, not, nobody in the reptile world whatsoever, but they, yeah. they all were like, "What's Chimera?" Of course they do. <laughs> no one can pronounce Chimera. It's amazing. It's it? amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. Even people that know Greek. Yeah, they're they just don't like know. they're yeah. like Chimera. My own mother still calls it Chimera. So it's say, fine. say what is it? Chimera. Chimera. <laughs> Chimera. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Dave, Yikes. we need to find an animal. All right, so. Because it's getting a little ridiculous. Uh, I'm down there. It's kind you of wanna, yeah, Let's go, go look at there? Dave's table. We never really look at Dave's table. No, we all no, go, we never always look go look at, at other people's tables, and we never I mean, look at Dave's table. My I, table, well, my table was much that. more interesting yesterday, Sorry? but I sold out of right. a lot of stuff. So, Tinley is one of those shows where there's buyers here. And yes. that's one of the reasons why I drive seven hours to be here every single Tinley. And that's one of the reasons that I fly here so I can watch Dave sell animals. Exactly. All right, like let me uh, show you the finer thing. Oh, oh, well, I just wanted to see this, Dave. I guess, Sorry. over there. Dave wanted to show us something over there, but I wanted to see this. So we're taking a look at that. Ooh. Look at this gentleman right here. If, you, if you're ever lucky enough to meet this gentleman, he is one of the most generous people I have ever met in my entire life. I couldn't agree more. That's because of those two. I eat because of this guy. <laughs> he buys pizza every single time. That's true. And these two? The the these two are so snake. awesome. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. you. Look at this sunbeam snake. That is cool. I mean, it's deep in shed, but it's like one of the coolest little, little well, that's a big one, a fossorial snake. Very awesome looking. Um, I mean, just cool. If you've ever seen one that's not in shed, I mean, the, the amount of iridescence that's on these snakes is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm also very fortunate that uh, I've chosen to use the microphones that I use today because Dave's off there talking about all kinds of other random stuff. So luckily I can take control over his audio and whether we hear him or not, which is probably gonna come in handy later in this video, I can only imagine. But thank you for modeling that so, so beautifully, appreciate it. 
We're officially renaming these guys unicorn snakes. Officially renaming them to unicorn snakes. Yeah. Okay, just because of the amount of rainbows that they shoot out of their butt? <laughs> That's fair. Bye. I'm doing it's, it's uncut. We are it's uncut. uncut. We're mic'd. Yeah, you, you think you're mic'd, but I get to cut out your mic whenever I want, just so you know. What is this, a presidential debate? <laughs> hey, uh, film this puppy. Barkley, look. Hey, Barkley. Are you going to bark, Lee? No. no? Look at your little red line. What is it? You have a red line? No, look at this puppy guy. It's a, it's a red line uh, vest. This wow, is. Wow, I didn't even know that they made this. This is the cutest puppy. I don't. I bought it on Amazon. It's not. Oh, okay. Like, well, somehow we always back find a puppy. All right, behold. All right, we're going to behold, ah, Dave so, Kaufman's booth. GHI Lavender Albino Het Pied. So, so yesterday, they're going to come and pick him up, her, her up, as it were, later on in the show. Okay. That's Over a good here, deal. we've got Banana Pieds. And for the first time ever in the history of ever, for the first time in forever and forever. All right, I hatched out a super banana pied. Check That's that out. Just super, Dave. And I hatched out VPI Azanthic clowns. That's just Azanthic, Dave. That's Azanthic fantastic. Nice. Yeah, so now, that's my table. All right. know, I, there was a criticism that I faced on my channel recently, Dave. Oh, criticism. I yes. never get that on my channel. Well, I want to tell you about it. Oh, yeah. Um, people said that I show ball python stuff too much. Ah, indeed. Well, then we need to go over to Crosstown oh, Exotics. Oh, yes, dude. I haven't hung they, out with Crosstown for a while. Dude, they always have the best stuff they over do here. They always have really the best do. stuff. Like, behold, an Occidentalis. Wow. Dude, look at the pink on that thing, I know. bro. I was supposed to go to Argentina a month ago and find these in the wild, and I didn't get to go because it was just too close to my, some of my other trips, but I will get down to Argentina, and I will film these in the wild, and I hope they look like that because that is one of the prettiest Argentine boas I've ever seen. I've, I've never seen one keep that much pink yeah. into adulthood. That is yeah. amazing. That is exceptional. I hope we can get a closer look at it. Where is um, where's he at? Uh, I don't know. He's 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 kind of swamped right now. Yeah, he's swamped. For but sure. we got millipedes up here. Yes, we got millipedes. These guys. So Crosstown is obviously you guys know they're they're local here to the Chicago area. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they do educational shows with all these different animals and do a really good job. Yeah. I've actually come. We featured their booth in an uncut video um, a few years back. But it's, so it's kind of nice to come and do an update. They always have the best. Yeah, it's really, Always really have nice. the best. And then big old Madagascar hissing cockroaches up here. Always really healthy. When I was in Madagascar, we were finding like Dumeril's boas and uh, like every other cool thing in the world. I geeked out more about finding these hissing cockroaches in Madagascar than maybe I did about some of the chameleons we found. That's pretty sweet. A little gecky. Little kind of gecky. Gecky out there. Oh. No, thanks. Yeah, um, yeah. can we pull out the uh, Argentine ball? Yeah, let me just hand my child off. <laughs> yes, you, feel free to put down your child while we get that Argentine ball out. That is yes, definitely, oh, I also want to check I believe this out. we've made life very difficult for him. Oh, he's taking a picture of that, too. Sorry, I'm really going to do a quick one, and then I'll move out of your way. But look at the size of that. Tarantula, it's amazing. Yes, even that corner one. Incredible. But yeah, they're trying to film some pictures. Hang on a second. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get to get a closer look at this Argentine boa. Honey, I'm putting this uh, right here, which is awesome because I was trying to film it through the glass and obviously we couldn't see it as well. But now we're gonna get to okay, see excuse it. Excuse guys, super excuse. Up close and personal. And Dave, all right, look, look at, at this. Look at that. Harvey. Holy crap! Look at Harvey. Dude, that is a, an amazing. Look at the red on him. They're Max Pink. Yeah, Max Pink. I mean, I've heard. Obviously, I've heard of the Max Pink line. And this is um, Sabrina. And I, oh, there was two Max. In there. So this is Max Pink, and that's Maxine Pink. Yeah. <laughs> right? Is that, that how it works? Good, actually. <laughs> Look at this beautiful snake. Oh my God. Are these guys for sale? No, no. I, I've been. Yeah, I will give. I will give you. I'm, I've had them paired up for a while. She's been doing that weird, like, where, you know, like, they twitch and stuff. Like, so I don't Wait, know. Sorry, start saying that again. Oh, I was going to say, I've had her in with the male a couple times. She she may or may not be grabbing. I mean, she does that stuff where she, like, twitches and kind of, you know, like, they sit funny, but uh, nothing yet. She swelled up, and then, like, it kind of, nothing came of it, so. Okay, these are amazing. Yeah. You always have the coolest stuff. You really Thanks. do. Yeah. We Like, when we're doing our shows, it's like we wanted to have stuff that was, uh, like, unique. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of times we kind of have a, um, 
Like, we'll usually have, like, a big yellow snake and a big, like, normal type or something. Yeah, so yeah. it was a nice pairing. Like, I'll bring, like, a Burmese python and then have this as, like, my last, like, big snake for the kids to pet. And she's like, I can put her on a kid's lap and stuff. And they yeah. just, you know. These are amazing. I will give you 50 Canadian dollars for this pair. What is that worth in U.S. dollars? Like, at least $75,000. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Uh, I, I might have to pass that up. I'm really. Oh, I raise these guys up from babies. I got All right. Well, that's on. fine. I don't think Adam Wickens has that much money to lend me in oh. Canadian anyway. Gotcha. <laughs> but no, these are. I'm geeking out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm literally never. I mean, you see them look like this as babies when the, the Max Pink. But I yeah. mean, well, she's and, in the sun. Like, I think the thing cool. is, there's a lot of folks that like um, that claim that it's Max Pink line, and it's not. And right. then, and then, like, it looks like because they they all kind of have that. Pinkish, it's even like Doomerel's bows got, have that that pink as right, babies, right? right? I got and from Bob Gurry, like I got them from the dude, like like I have a receipt from Bob Gurry. For yeah, a, so you know? well that's obvious. I mean, yeah. the, the proof's in the pudding here. Like the fact that the, the amount of pink that is on these animals is, uh, like I said, the, the proof in the pudding. Yeah, this is amazing. You know, a little fun fact: um, Max Pink is actually my accountant. Dave, <laughs> very, wow. very nice guy, keeps kosher. I also I um, I put that. Um, Rakashi red uh, enhancement stuff on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's and it's it's actually marker. <laughs> Very fun. Yeah. Wow, those are amazing. If, when they have babies, amazing. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Amazing. I'm I mean, they're they're both going on. They they were 2018 babies. I got them in 2019. And uh, when we weighed her last, she was 22 pounds. Was oh wow, day. wow. Yeah, that's I mean, you're like she's. She's a thick snake. 22 pounds. Dude, wow. that's amazing. We, we are in a bottleneck right here. We are here. in a bottleneck. People, we need to like, move. We need people, to move along. We yeah, need to keep going. Are, we're, uh, we're, we're causing a traffic jam. Oh, Thank so, you. Somebody pulled a knife. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So Thank you, my man. Check yeah, out Crosstown Exotics. All sure. right. Uh, let's get out of this bottleneck yeah, here. Yeah, this is uh, getting a little bit All dicey. right, let's go down here and it's see packed. what's down here. I haven't even been down this aisle yet. We've got I'm with another Yeti right now. We've got lots of... Patrick Holmes. You got to come check him out on the thing. Right? Right? All right. Yes, check him out on the thing. Oh, you, you lost your voice, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> hey, did we see these sunset stuffs? Ooh, sunset now, stuffs. It, but, you know, I mean, if your viewers are a little upset that you are showing more ball pythons than anything else, they will forgive you for showing this awesome sunset stuff. <laughs> Look at that hypo. I feel like cameras. Oh, my gosh. Sunset pod. Dude, those are awesome. Those are awesome, yeah, awesome. Whoa, dude, that's... I don't know if I've seen the Sunset Pied yet. I'm going to take a little, little bitty picture. Yeah. I... Take it a bitty picture? A bitty picture. And then I will take a little, little bitty video. That will be in my video. So we got Le Leopard Sunset Pied. I'm glad you got them, though. Leopard Sunset Pied versus Sunset Pied. That is amazeballs. Dude, these are... Really good looking. Dang. So, what do you think about like what do you think about Enchi and Yellow Belly adding to it? Uh, it's gonna look amazing. And well, actually, it will in high two. Yeah. Lower white. Yeah. Enchi uh, and Yellow Belly. Yellow Belly. We're working on that already with the ghost. The nice. Yellow Belly ghost. Yeah, no doubt. Man, those are cool to see. Man. All right, Dave, but you're also getting me in trouble. I know. <laughs> I'm getting you in big trouble. That is why we're friends. That's fine. All right, so I'm, I'm fine to get in the trouble. Let's show people Wrong. something a little bit more than ball pythons. Okay, perfect. And that is another puppy. Hi. Oh, Look at this. Puppy. She just came right up to me. Oh, Hi, no, pup. you lost the Adeline's head. Oh, oh no. Hi, is pup. that here? Here, well, what's this? Hi, pup. Oh, I probably knocked that oh, off. This dude. is Scraper. Oh, scraper. This is Goose. Oh. Goose. Hi, Goose. Goose the papa. Puppies love me, I swear. And I love puppies. Lucky, yeah. I love puppies too. Awesome. Very cool. Yay. Bye, Goose. <laughs> All right, so there. Not a ball python. We yeah. showed a dog goose. That, that's very true. We definitely did goose that. Goose dog? Goose dog. Dog named right, Goose. Wait a minute. Check this out. Check this out. Look at the size of this albino oh, yeah. conda hog. Is that nose. the same one from a couple from the year? I think we are, I think we did feature this one. Last year, no. No, 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 the year before. Like, uh, no, this one's never been here. This oh, one's never, been, never here been here. So, what yes, is it with Tinley We Park? have shown this before, then. No, because it's never oh, been. Is it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got confused. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's never been here, then we couldn't have featured it here. That's how that works. <laughs> this is incredible. Like, I it's a chubster. It is a big old. I, that's just mind blowing. This, this is the second largest hognose snake I've ever seen in my entire life. 
And the last hognose snake that I saw that was incredibly large was here at Tinley Park, so it's just kind of amazing to be that. Uh, this one is here too, and it's not, not the same one. Either. She's just the largest that likes to sit still for a long time. I said hognose snake, right? I, I think you said uh, ball python nose. <laughs> Do you want me to get her out for you and set her down on the display? Or? Uh, yeah, if you want to get her out, that would be totally welcome. So they should get see some like perspective. Like, look at the size of that hognose snake. So Gosh, here, so I'll, massive, I'll, can I hold her? Yeah, you can. I have people it. not to hold her. Uh, I'm sorry, man. But. I have, I have like cooties all over my hands. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> go, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he said, go ahead, Dave. Go ahead. You hear that? All right. So just to give this snake some perspective, look at this. This is a monster female hognose snake. Um, Dave doesn't exactly have small hands. I don't. My hands are the biggest hands. I have the biggest, best hands in the reptile world. <laughs> so this is a wonderful experience to see Dave's giant hand. My giant. Next to this giant hognose snake. All proceeds for the U.S. Art auction last night. We hit. What did he say? I don't know. I can't hear him. Dude, this is a great shot. Look at how cool that thing is. Phil's talking on the microphone. I can't hear a dang word that he's saying. Yeah, well, he knows that we're filming, and he does this on purpose. <laughs> he waits till somebody presses record and then gets on that microphone. <laughs> but what he has to say is a lot more important than what we got to say. Right, but I can't hear what he's saying. Oh. Anyway, look at All that right. thing. So, do you know how I know this is female? How do you know? Because of the size? That's right. Males do not get this big. Gosh. I mean, outside of the, like a nuclear power plant area. Right. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Thank you for showing that off. Wow. That was cool. Fantastic. That was, All right. That was awesome. Uh, and that's just about everything there is to see here at Tinley. Yeah, especially in this aisle, because this aisle. Oh, there's more? Um, there's other, there are other aisles. Okay. I don't know if we're going to make it to those aisles or not, but Ooh, books. We'll, we'll have to see just what happens. Oh, hey, sir. What's that? Man love. Man love? Man love. Oh, see, this is on Hey, this so is staying in. Yeah, this one, not like. This one's staying in, Dave. Yeah, not like Dave's video where he cut that stuff out. <laughs> All right. Uh, how much time do we got to see like 8 million things more? How much time to see 8 million things? Well, we would need 8 million minutes at All least. Right. So if we've shown off enough ball pythons, let's go see some sand boas. Sand boas? Sand boas, right, over right, here, right this way. Come so this way. Dave, we're, we're trusting Dave on this, that the sand boas are going to be worth our time to check out. I'm assuming he knows what he's talking about because well, he's been around the show and I haven't. There's a lot of people around the world that assume that I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, that's true. There are a lot of people that do that. How do you feel about handling that responsibility? I don't handle responsibility. Behold wow. the sand boas. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say right off the bat, like, this definitely does not disappoint. So you cannot come to Tinley, see sand boas, and not think about Scott Miller. He has the best sand boas ever in the history of Tinley. Can, can I have my money now? <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, the, just, the, just like, the, like the color palette that is shown here is just off the bat is amazing. Like there's Look such at this a variety. One. So this is a paradox. Boink. That is a tiny little paradox spot. Tiny little paradox. Tiny paradox. Sitting on the back of a snake. On the snake. It kind of has the shape of Asia. Makes me wonder if it's fake. That doesn't rhyme with Asia. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, uh, this cheesecake snake. Ooh, I like cheesecake. The, yeah, the Conaway California Flame. Is that what that stands for? Yes. Conway, California Flame. Ooh, there's a spooky Ooh, ghost. Ooh, I believe there's a ghost in here. Look at this one. This one's doing a backflip, Dave. You see that? It's doing a backflip. Or attempting to do a backflip, I should say. And this one is doing donuts in the parking lot. Have you ever done donuts in the parking lot, Dave? Uh, I've eaten donuts in a parking lot. Hmm. I've got uh, I've got these. There's these folks down by the high school by our house that constantly do donuts. Like every night, they just do donuts down there. With sprinkles? Yeah, they oh. do donuts. Well, no. The thing is that the the police never show up. Oh. Which you wouldn't make it. You would think, you know, I, I hate to make that joke. No, I don't. 
You would think that with all the donuts in that parking lot, at least one cop would show up. At least one. One, yeah. Yeah. But no, never. I, you know, honestly, that's a stereotype because I have never once seen a police officer eat a donut. Not once. Well, does that make it not a stereotype? Because I don't know. Because I think stereotypes are usually based in like, there's some kind of like thing where, for it to be based on. That's true. So if you've never ever seen, then it's a like, then it's not a stereotype. Then it's an anti-stereotype. Anti-stereotype. Well, if it's a stereotype and it's not true, would that be a monotype? Stereo, mono. That'll sink in later. Um, right over here, we got Retix. Ooh. Yes, in your face. Uh, do we want anything open? Uh, which is the one that will bite Brian's face off? Dave. <laughs> hey, you, the people are tuning into this video. They want to see some action. Oh, yeah. This girl, bro. Uh, okay. We can open them up? Yeah, let's, Dwarf let's go Dwarf Sunfire. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, let's do it. There you go, Dave. This is all you. Wait a minute. No, I've set this up so that you would handle this. <laughs> no. I've got the camera. Is he really? Uh, like, how? what is he? Is he bitey? Is he she's, she? She's not. She's not bitey. She just kind of... She's not very nice. Once you handle her, is she, is she, does she calm down? No. She does not? No. Okay, so this is, how, calm down? this is how we're gonna handle a strange retic that we've never handled before, just like this. We're not gonna hold her tight. We're just gonna hold her so that she can't get any leverage to bite me. And that is how we hold a retic that is bitey and snappy and has never been held oh, by human hands before. <laughs> that, that tongue flick looks Fairly just kind of curious and not absolutely. That's not a defensive tongue flick. This flick. snake loves me now. That tongue flick, I, think, I think you can let go of the head. That that is that was should a. We dare him to give her a kiss. Oh, Dave, you should give her a kiss. There you go. I think Yeesh. that. I think. Look at those tongue. See, my my thought. And I'm not. Well, yeah, I'm not the one holding the body her. language. No, I'm not. Right. Yeah, yeah. I know you're the one holding her, and I'm not. But like, uh, but based I'm barely on, holding her. I'm just holding her enough to keep her head in. Where sure. I want it. But listen, my point is like based on those tongue flicks, I don't that those are such long, wagging, curious tongue flicks. Like that's not that's defensive. True. And nobody can hear me because I think you just scraped off my mic. <laughs> Did she? I don't know. Okay, mic no, is good. Mic's there. All right. When was the last time the snake pooped? <laughs> I'm more worried about like getting a beginning of last week. So this snake is due for a poop. We're gonna put her back. I think that she she seemed very like look at her look at her her tongue dude. I don't think well, she was no, ever gonna not, bite you. She's not bitey. She's she has those long curious tongue flicks. Yeah. And when I, when I see tongue flicks like a reach, from a reach like that, I think there's not a bite coming. That's whatsoever. not a bite. No. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, look at it now. She might be just a runner, but yeah, she has come out and yeah. When I'm sure. trying to clean and stuff, she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, sense. look at the pattern on this snake. This is just gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. All right, in you go. <laughs> that was smooth and graceful. Oh, gonna, thank I'm you. I'm gonna point the camera away while you continue your smooth, graceful movements. Oh, no, 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 point it at it, because here, I'm showing you how to put a big retic away. So what you do is you put them in like that, like halfway, and then you just tickle their tail. Yeah, and then they just true. crawl in all by themselves. Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't even need to do the tail tape, right. so just crawl or in by yourself. Or you just anyway. leave it to the owner to deal with the situation, <laughs> we walk away. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I've got to film my stuff. Okay. Because, so, oh, but look what's right below us here. Oh my gosh, that is... That is a pied berm. Wow, that is a pied berm, a granite pied granite. berm, no less. Granite pied berm, Dave. Look at that sucker, wow. All right. Okay, Dave. How much time do we got left on this listen, uncut? Listen, listen. Here's what we got. Well, I got. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of, oh, my gosh. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your Brians. And take care of each other. And rattle on! <laughs> Go subscribe to today's uh, fourth channel. Fifth channel. I don't know. Even how many channel. I have anymore. Yeah. So we'll subscribe to them all. They'll all be linked in the description below. Thank you, Brian.